Welcome back to Fable, everybody. I am bringing back somebody that we've all missed very, very much. Hello. <laughs> so I was like, are you going to say something, or are you just going to pretend you don't exist? What do you mean? No, I'm kidding. It's Mr. Felgame, in case you don't recognize that drunken slur. Oh, crap, my weapon's out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There She's so sorry. She didn't mean it. <laughs> I was distracted. Anywho, uh, God, I haven't played in so freaking long. I, I remember taking a bunch of these quests, and then I was just going to do whatever one I wanted. I think we'll do the traitor rescue. So, yeah, we'll do that. I'm surprised they didn't attack you just because of how awesome they look. <laughs> They're like, he's a murderer! Yeah, I was wearing a dress in the last episode, so now I'm wearing, like, this awesome set of chain mail. Yeah, look how badass we look. <laughs> Yeah, we were just saying, like, look how much you get done when I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not like stumbling around, being yeah. like, I, I don't know where to, I, I don't know where to go. <laughs> a drunk LP was probably just a bad idea <laughs> altogether. In general. <laughs> okay, so this quest I think is saving all the traitors. Obviously, derp. Oh, Hello. Hey, I freaking love the voices. <laughs> I know, they're so great. <laughs> they're always over the top, though, in every Fable game. <laughs> yeah, they always kind of... I would probably say that the voices are pretty fake, because I don't think anybody talks like this. It sounds really forced. Yeah. Unless you watch like Monty Python or something. Yeah. Well, they got better. They got better, mate. I have no idea what this quest is. You're saving the traitors in uh, Twin Blades Camp. Uh, oh wow, you haven't done Twin Blades yet. No, I I finished Twin Blades Camp. This is after you defeat him. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is this is actually kind of a hard quest. I hope I can actually do this with you distracting me. I guess we'll we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> ah, plus you I look over there. Plus What's I that? Plus I haven't played in like forever, so now I'm like, what am I doing? Herp derp. <laughs> what do you just like re record like a like three hours at a time? Well, I think the last time I played, I recorded like six episodes in a row, and then I'm like, okay, well, I'm Damn. about 12 episodes ahead now, and then I stopped. And I, then I was playing uh, Dragon Age. And I've, been, yeah. I've been playing Dragon Age for the last like four or five days. I've been going on like a Dragon Age spree, which has been crazy. Oh, wait. Um, wait, which Dragon Age? First one. First one? I enjoy I had fun with that game. It was really funny is I actually played the second one first, so... Huh. I only recently got the, f the first one, and I'm like, they're so different. But yeah, heard the second one is way better, but I, I I like them both. I think actually most people will say that the the first one was way better, and they didn't like the second one. But I I quite like both. It's kind of like Fable, you know. People are like, oh, the second or third one's so much worse. But uh, overall, you know, I do I do like all of them for different reasons. Yeah. First one will always be the best, though. Yeah. Taylor. The character designs. Yeah, and gameplay, and just the simplicity of it all is really awesome. Okay, there's some more bandits to kill? Yes, there are. Hello, gents. My equipment rocked, <laughs> by the way, so I can kill these bandits with, like, one arrow. <laughs> hello, <laughs> gents. Arrow to your face. <laughs> Say hello to my arrow in your chest. Now you're dead. See you later. <laughs> I like you're just like, hello, gentlemen. I'm like, oh, how are you? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, it burns. It's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like, it's like you're a bandit and you're in my way. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? I thought we would go fishing and then drinking later. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Not happening. Can you pull this arrow out of my eye? <laughs> I love a sweet trainer mustache. <laughs> it is awesome. You could choke him with that mustache. Yep. I'm gonna make you wait. So I don't get you killed. Because I hate this quest because it's like you kill all the bandits and then the second that you talk to a traitor, like 20,000 more of them show up. 
which makes this quest yeah. frustrating because it's just like the bandits never end. It's good for experience, but I'm pretty sure you have to actually save all three of them. And if even just one of them dies, you're completely screwed, which is really frustrating. So. Yeah, and the camera kind of went crazy there for a second. Yeah, camera angles and games trying to kill the players. There's nothing new. That tends to happen a lot. Die. Plus, uh, at least it's not like Re Resident Evil. Uh, or uh, Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Chewie. I don't know if you've ever played those games, but yeah. seriously, Rare has the worst camera angles ever. <laughs> They're just yeah, like, they oh, yeah. pretty bad ones. And they're like, we're gonna kill you. It's like, thanks. Um, this guy will stay here, so I'm gonna go rescue his friends, which are over this way, I think, in the next screen. Because there's three of them in total. Yeah, well, when, when we played, I, I don't think I actually posted up to that part where we played, but when me and you were playing the, the co-op, we killed Twin Blade, but I let him live this time. Man, I haven't talked to you in, like, forever, or else I would have told you that, but you're, like, never online this much anymore. Which yeah, I really haven't been on lately. With those teeth and all. Oh, then the week where uh, Felicia went back to Wisconsin, I was like, fucking party! <laughs> you were like, I'm gonna go out and party when my wife's not home. Oh, yeah. And I did. Yeah, and, and you did. And it wasn't as much fun as I thought it would be, because I'm like in the middle of the party, I'm like, I wonder what Felicia's doing. <laughs> so much. At least you were sitting at home, like, wallowing in self-pity about how lonely you were. Yeah. yeah, I didn't come home one freaking time. Because you're like, if I'm alone, I'm going to start crying, you know, or something, or whatever. So for seven days, I was just running, like, skipping house to house, like, hey, what are you, you doing anything, Jake? No, cool, can I stay here? <laughs> you want to chill? It's like, okay, I guess so. Well, I have something to do tomorrow. Okay, I'll just sleep on your couch. Okay. <laughs> I'll just wait for you to come home. It's no big deal. I won't be a bother. <laughs> It'll be just like when we were in high school. <laughs> but we're not in high school. I'm married and I have a kid. Aw, oh, shut up. <laughs> Aw, you pussy. Who, who has time for kids? No. <laughs> Let's kill these guys with my bow. With my bow. With my bow. God, that was a strong bandit. You're supposed to die in, like, one hit, man, buddy. There you go. Yeah, that guy was gonna do something later, though. He was gonna be like, man. Gonna, yeah. He was gonna create the cure for cancer in Albion. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> He's dead now. I don't think bandits are that smart. No, they're probably... No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think they have the brain power for that. They'd be like... like... They're just over there having the most intelligent conversation ever. And he's like, and you know... I think with quantum physics, oh my god, there's an arrow in my eye. <laughs> it's like, were you even paying attention? He's like, you lost me at the word quantum. <laughs> <You know. laughs> What's a quantum? The quantum is just like, oh, not even gonna bother. Ah, my savior. Oh, these you poor guys. Yeah, I know, I feel bad for them. <laughs> don't make me do what the other girls make me do. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> Okay, you're going to wait here, because I have to take care of all these friends of yours, or mine, or whoever's, that are going to come and kill us both. Me, mostly. Damn, they, they do just kind of charge in there. Yeah, they, they, they just keep respawning. It's ridiculous. And then, the, also, the other crappy part about this is that you also have to escort them all the way through that road where, we, where you get all your bandit equipment as well. Wow. Cause you, cause, I haven't no. played this... I haven't played this in so freaking long, I'm, uh, I'm so lost. Because, you know, you, you just can't take the color skate out of here, which is stupid. I mean, there's a color skate right outside the camp, but they make you walk the, the traders, like, all the way through this entire area, which is really frustrating. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess... I'm sure, I'm sure the traders are like, I don't trust that color skate. Well, I guess I guess the quest would be way too easy then. That's the thing. I'm I'm assuming it would just be like, oh well, that wasn't too difficult at all. Yeah. Meat. Mmm, meat. <laughs> I heard they use them colors gates in the Baptist church. I don't trust it. I mean. <laughs> yeah, you're free. What a douchebag! I'm gonna leave you behind. He's like, I was in that cage, get me out. But you don't have to be a dick about it. I just saved your life, man. 
Excuse me while I go kill some more bandits. It's a good thing I have a yeah, good what? weapon for this. Excuse me while I continue saving your life. <laughs> Stop complaining. <laughs> really? He's like, I've got goods, but the, the bandits abuse them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's why I'm in this cage. I yeah. planned on abusing them later. Losing them like, but... Leave them to you to bring all the sexual inappropriateness that I was not ex ex excluding after you left back to the playthrough. <laughs> What are you talking about? Nothing. I would, I would never bring up Lady Grace. <laughs> I would never bring up anything that was sexually inappropriate in the least bit. That's, that's not me. Especially Lady Grey. Oh, that Lady Grey. I don't know if I'm going to marry her this playthrough, because I'm not evil on this playthrough, so I don't know. Yes, you are. No, I'm good, actually. I'm going to try to turn you evil. <laughs> You're going to be like, like oh. no, come on. Come on, do it. Peer pressure. You were like that person in high school who was like, I'll oh, smoke pot. It's it's fine. It won't hurt you once, you know. <laughs> it won't hurt once. Come on. You were like that person and all the other kids were like, great, now I'm a pot smoker. Thanks to you. <laughs> I just offered it. You smoked it. <laughs> <laughs> Good way of thinking. Yeah. Not me. Oh fuck, there's more of them! Seriously? I just defeated a bunch of you. No, wait! Wait, wait, it's there we go. <laughs> Thought he wasn't gonna wait. I know, I was like, wait here, damn it, don't you understand basic instructions? No wonder you're a traitor, you're not a friggin' scientist apparently, because you can't follow directions. I don't want to die, they used me good. <laughs> I don't want to live on this earth anymore. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You have to live as long as I bring you back for I can get my guild reward for doing this stupid quest. Look, like really, I would I would sacrifice you for uh, guild rewards. <laughs> but if I sacrifice you, then I won't be able to get my prize, so that doesn't work very well. Let's take care of these guys first. Just some epic music. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, should, you should just bust at your guitar. And, and so, instead of doing commentary, you'll just like play your guitar the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> that would drive people insane. <laughs> and I would start making up random shit. And you're like, don't tempt me. <laughs> okay, Wee. you come. You come with me, and you come with me, and is it you up here? Yes, you come with me. They're like, oh, I'm so lost and afraid. And no, you up here, you stay. <laughs> and I think all three of them have to live, which is a bummer, because they're really slow at following you, and see, see, look how slow they are. I know you're afraid, but you can run a little bit faster than that. Yeah, really, I'm, when I'm afraid, I run much faster. <laughs> I run like, oh crap, I'm going to die, I better run as fast as I can kind of speed, you know? Yeah, especially with, like, Balverines. Yeah, it's like, ah! Shit. It feels good to be free again, I can tell you that. Oh, thanks. Oh, my I stupid internet. I'll be sure to Are you gonna disconnect on me? I, I don't know, it just brought up, like, you have a problem with, because your internet connection problem. Oh, while well, we try to get the call back. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Oh, I don't know what that oh. is. Oh. Okay, and I was apparently really sadly mistaken. I know there is a quest somewhere in this game where you actually have to take those traitors all the way through the abandoned road and, like, all the way back to Oakvale. But apparently this wasn't the one, so... Woohoo. So that was a very easy quest, because all we had to do was bring them out of the actual camp. So, okay, awesome. Never mind, then. I was making a completely big deal for absolute <laughs> thing, apparently. She was talking shit about us, she was. <laughs> okay, so after that quest is finished, I guess well, we'll spend our experience in the next episode, and we still have two more quests we can do. The Hob Cave quest, which is the biggest pain in the ass inconvenience quest in all of history, and the next storyline quest. So, I will see you guys later. Thanks to Mr. Felgen for joining me for this recording. Bye. And see you guys later.